Studies from China show that humans are evolving out of foreskin. 23% of Chinese men have foreskin shortened to the point of where all of the glands of the penis are exposed when flaccid and another 18% of Chinese men have foreskin that covers some, but less than half of the glands when flaccid. Altogether around 40% of Chinese men are what could be called naturally circumcised, a trait common throughout China and Southeast Asia. It is most likely that in the future either through further natural selection or genetic engineering all men will be naturally circumcised. More information about humans evolving out of foreskin is provided in the description. Now though, we see how American girls feel about circumcision and foreskin. Uncircumcised versus circumcised. Uncircumcised tends to have an odor. Excuse me, sir. I hope my horrible ugliness won't be a distraction to you. Not at all, boy! I, I saw one uncircumcised once. Hi. I am very ugly. But you should enjoy the movie anyway. What about you? What do you prefer? Uncircumcised. Really? Uncircumcised? Sorry, circumcised. Oh, yeah, most sorry. girls do. <laughs> picture, picture. You, have, you have a scene with? What do you mean there wasn't... Uh... Yeah. yeah. No. No, you? Yeah. What'd you think? A study by AdamandEve.com surveyed women in Canada and the USA on their preference for circumcised or uncircumcised. It found that 16 times as many women prefer a circumcised man. Another survey among female Hispanic immigrants to the United States found that among these women, five times as many prefer circumcised over uncircumcised. It appears that America girls are quite pleased that human males are evolving out of foreskin. Also, the World Health Organization recently began recommending countries set up circumcision programs to prevent the spread of HIV and other STDs. In addition to preventing STDs, penile cancer, and improved hygiene, many studies have found circumcision in fact increases sexual pleasure. A study from China found that men reported higher sexual satisfaction after circumcision. A study in Turkey Involving 186 young Muslim men undergoing adult circumcision for religious reasons measured men's sexual function and pleasure before circumcision and at an average time of 30.4 months after. The researchers found a significant increase in reported sexual pleasure and better sexual function after circumcision. A study from Kenya found that 87.5% of men who underwent adult circumcision reported an increase in sexual pleasure after circumcision. A study in Mexico involving men undergoing adult circumcision found that 82% of patients reported an upgrade in the quality of sex three months after undergoing circumcision. 95.5% of men also felt better with the way their penis looked after circumcision. A meta-analysis by the CDC found that few men report a decrease in sexual pleasure after circumcision, and many more men report an increase in sexual pleasure after circumcision. A meta-analysis by Danish researchers found grade A evidence that circumcision increases sexual pleasure. A meta-analysis by Chinese researchers found there is no reason to believe that circumcision reduces sexual pleasure.